A sum of money was borrowed and paid back in two equal annual installments of rupees 980, allowing 4% compound interest. The sum borrowed was. Here 4% is the compound interest. 4% means 1 by 25. 1 by 25 means 25 part is the principal and 1 part is the interest generated from this 25 part at the end of one year. Here take the principal and amount ratio. In first year, principal is equal to 25 parts and amount is equal to 25 plus 1, 26 part. Now, in second year, there are 2 years because amount paid back in 2 equal annual installment means total 2 years. So, in second year, principal is 25 square and amount is 26 square. Now, question clearly says amount paid back in 2 equal annual installments which means this 26 part and 26 square part are equal. But here it is not equal, so we should equalize it. That is, in first year it is 26 part, in second year it is 26 square part. But question says, this amount in first year and second year are equal. So, in the first year ratio, I will multiply 26 with 26. Now, when you multiply RHS of a ratio, we should multiply LHS of the same ratio in order to equalize it. So, Multiply 26 in principal as well. Now, question says annual equal installment is rupees 980, which means this 26 square part in the first year is 980, and in the second year, this 26 square part is 980. Now, we need to find out what is one part. Here, 26 square part is 980 means 676 part is equal to 980. Now, if I divide it with 4, 4 goes 1 time in 6 remaining 2, 4 goes 6 times in 24 remaining 3, 4 goes 9 times in 36. Same way here 4 goes 2 time in 9 remaining 1, 4 goes 4 times in 16 remaining 2, 4 goes 5 times in 20. So 169 part is equal to 245. Then we need to find out what is the sum. Here sum is equal to 26 into 25 plus 25 square. Sum is equal to 26 into 25 plus 25 square. Now if I take 25 outside, then remaining is 26 plus 25 which is equal to 51. Now 5 into 1 is 5 and 5 square plus 2 is 27 remaining to 5 into 2 plus 2 is 12. So, 1275 is the sum. 1275 is the sum. 1275 parts is the sum. So, so we need to find out what is 1275 part here. Here, 169 part is equal to 245. Then, 1275 part is equal to 245 divided by 169 into 1275. Here, 13 goes, 13 goes, 13 times in 169 and 13 goes around 13 into 10 is 130. So, 13 into 9 is 170. Remaining 10. So, 13 into around 8 is equal to 105. So, here again if I cancel with 13, 13 into 7 is 91 remaining 7. So, 13 goes around 7.5 times in 98. Now, 7.5 into 245 is equal to 17.15 plus 122.5. Now this is around 1800. So nearly 1800 which is equal to option 1. So option 1 is your answer. Or your answer is 1850. 1850 is your answer. So sum is equal to 1850. You can calculate it to the nearest tens. 